everybody welcome back to chad's trains and things and we're back on the n-scale layout and see i'm kind of messing with the big town area it's going to be higher up show off this lower area is going to be like a switching yard i'm kind of i kind of got some lines drawn kind of representing roads where i'm wanting it and i'm messing with them scratching stuff out as i try to work with it all but try to get the road done and for those who haven't seen this woodland scenic fence wall will go up there and it's going to be all painted and weathered and have grass growing on there's like a fence that goes on top when it's all said and done that's just a test piece that i put together to try it and it's going to run all the way along the outside of it i mean all the way around the whole thing over to that end but yeah so what i'm looking at is the hospital is going to face this way and this is going to be a parking lot that you can see here just be acting like the parking lot goes on out to the side too of course and then here i'm going to have sidewalk and parking on both sides of the road coming through here curve there's going to be parking all along the front here this building is just pushed back so it should be up like that more sidewalk no sidewalk running on this side but parking on that side and then turn around going into the dennies that's sitting here and a lot of grass and other stuff trees probably and everything else up top here make it look nice but just a little city scene like the bigger city is back here in the background or going back through there leading back in to the yard area so yeah but right now i'm looking at road coming in through here coming around and then turning back in there just like it's going through like that and like i say green but anyways i'm going to show you what i was doing right now and i'm going to keep working on this road trying to decide what I can't and can't do with it all. Because I don't think I have enough tape for what I was wanting to do, so I'm gonna have to order me some more pavement tape or come up with a different idea. So we'll see. So I'll check back in with you after a while. Okay, we are back. You can see outline how my road's gonna run around this area. There's actually gonna be parking on both sides here and just parking on this side and this side. But the sidewalk's gonna run, except where the entrance to Denny's is here. And the sidewalk's gonna run through here. This, I don't decide what I'm gonna do, it's gonna be grass or not, parking lot. What I used is these plastic sheets. It's thin, it's actually, when I can take the N-scale sidewalk and put it up to it, it leaves just the perfect lip for N-scale for the sidewalk going in. So the sidewalk will be through there, through here, Probably put some more over here by the hospital. Yeah, and you see how the wall will kind of go up against. So I got a sidewalk so can, people can look over and rail fan what's going on down here. So it'd be like the seams you're seeing. Once this glue dries, so these don't move around any, I'm gonna take my good old spackle, fill it all in, do everything, sand it down, and make it all smooth. The corners for curves, and I draw the lines in, I start measuring, actually putting lanes and parking spots and everything else in, I'll fix them too. Using the sidewalk pieces that I have here, corner, and make it all look good. Same here, you'll have the sidewalk corner so you'll be able to see that going through there. And then paint it all up and weather it and make it all look, you see I got them kind of pushed back the buildings, but gives you an idea. And I think that's all gonna be grassed up and trees around the Denny's, make it a nice little area. So yeah, that's what I got so far. Gotta let that dry and then come back with the spackle. So I'll be back when the spackling's done. So see you in a few. Okay, sand it down. I got the first coat of kind of gray. That plastic I use for the road don't hold paint very well. So you kind of got to go through and put a coat down and let it dry. Then once it dries, you can do a pretty good job of painting. I kind of concreted back behind the buildings too for a start to be weathered. But once I get another coat of gray on here, or it's darker, I can start putting the road side lines in, sidewalks. Once I get everything where I want it, then I'll come through and weather it all to make it look like my other road that I've done. Dirty, nasty, old. Of course, the parking lot over here for the hospital. Like I said, it just looks like it's still in there, and it really is, because that smooth plastic this paint just wants to smear and don't really want to take it. So you got to get this down and then you can actually start painting. So I'll let that dry and I'll come back and put a second coat on 
and we'll see where we're at after that. So I'll catch you in a few. Okay, another layer, paint. Now I'm ready. Once it all dries, sidewalks are in, kind of showing you roughly how it's all gonna go around into the hospital. Just parking lot kind of there. Of course, once it's all dry, I'll come in and start marking it and painting the stripes and parking spots and put in there. Then I'll weather it all. I gotta put the wall in. And once the wall is done and I got it glued in, I'll come in behind and I'll fill that in with rock and weeds and everything. I get growing up through there. And there'll be a fence that goes in there too. Paper towel in the way. Okay, work on all the buildings. All the stickers and everything come with all these buildings are in Japanese. So I won't be using them. So I'll have to print my own stuff off for it all. Cut my own signs and everything else for it. They're not glued down. They're just sitting in there. Clean up back behind it some more. This is not glued in yet, this piece, so I can move it. Denny's, I decided since these are all Kato buildings, you can't put lights in without tearing apart, so I'm not gonna light any of these buildings up. But everything here, and I'll have lights in it down here, so that's what we're gonna do there. So, since I'm kinda stopped until all this stuff's dry, and it ain't gonna move when I go to weather it, I think it's gonna be a good point to stop this video. It'll be about a six minute, seven minute video. Just showing what I've done so far. In the next video, I'll pick up with stripe, either working on the stripes, or I may work on the walls. I'm thinking the walls, painting and everything is gonna be their own video with how I paint them, glue them together, paint them, buying them all up and everything else. That may end up being its own video. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, that's gonna do it. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. Love to have you subscribe to me, following me. Um, Comment down below. Love to hear what you think from it all and everything else. My little edge of the city type scene. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.